Okay, we have a really cool day here at RC Review because we have the missing link for all these cool mini crawlers. You know what it is? Good tires. All right, SCX24, I got like 30 mini crawlers on my shelf. They're all good, but they're all missing one key ingredient, good tires. They come stock with these tires, huge tires that uh, have mediocre rubber, you know, typical uh, axial, uh, stiff sidewall, no foam, good to get started, but not quite enough to get you modding, upgrading, uh, and doing real rock crawling lines. So these just got introduced a few weeks ago. Check them out. True Hyrax tires. One inch wheel diameter and the outer diameter is fairly standard but it is smaller than what SEX24 normally ships out with. Uh, this is their Betty edition and has the same size tire. So it's the true well, one inch size uh, tire that's not overly huge. So here it is, Proline Hyrax. This is a momentous event because without great tires, you can't really just keep upgrading stuff. You know, upgrading is often eliminating the bottlenecks, the weak spots, right? Uh, but if you have, I have friends who have these special motors, low CG chassis, but if you have shitty tires, you're just going to have shitty performance because tires is typically 40 to 50% of your performance. So what we're going to do today is we're going to do line by line testing on the same course, same driver, and we're going to see if these Hyraxes are any good. Um, just to let you know, this is a pretty modified SEX24, probably the best crawler out there, performing crawler out of the box. So it has a little bit of brass here um, and it has a special motor called the FuryTech. Have you guys seen the FuryTech? It's an out, outrunner motor that is so, so smooth, so slow, it's ridiculous. And I have this new ESC. I'll talk to you about that in a in another video. The battery's mounted down there, so the setup is pretty good, but there's really hardly any weights. Uh, on this on this on this uh, rig the tires themselves are on bead locks they are you know proline bead locks uh, with three bolts and they have a foam uh, you know the fire the, the, the tire really feels like the, the predator compound they have g8 and predator uh, uh, predator because it's softer and it requires less support it's such a tiny tire anyway and uh, you have you have some 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 decent foam in there so I'm just running it box stock but you'll see the performance. All right, on to the test drive. And what we're going to do is a split screen. The new Proline Hyrax 124 on the left and the stock tires on the right. Gotta have the stock tires for comparison because it's very hard to judge what you're looking at. So you should be familiar with the stock tires. And you can tell on the first climb, didn't have a chance. Never ever done it. So we put it halfway, a little less steep up there. See how it does in the less steep. The Poiland Hyrax climbed up and it's making its way up. It's as steep as it gets up there. It's hampered by center gravity, not grip. But we have a nice motor, nice, easy to modulate. So we'll get a shot at it. So right there, a little side hill for the actual stock tires, it, it fell. We do it again on the Proline Hyrax. That first climb right there is impressive. Right here, it's at the limit. Sliding back a little bit, we 
You can play with throttle. The tires are very composed, consistent. Right there, going on the left, a different line. That rock is a little bit slippery, but it does have some edges. Trying to see how the Hyrax does on a slippery rock. Good, good. Test number two. Some rocks and cracks. They're both able to do that first hill. Pretty grippy, but now it gets a little technical. Rocks are a little sharper, more jagged. You need to articulate. The stock axle tires have no flex. So it's not biting in, not digging in. But the Proline Hyrox is a softer rubber, nice little foam. And it does well with a nice motor articulation, nice and controlled. So another impressive performance. Right here it's hung, it's hung up. Yeah, you can see, but it's composed, you know, you can just hang out here, throttle in, throttle out. You know, maybe do a, do a little bit of steering. Will it get up or not? It sure did. So, very impressive. This Pro Line, Pro Line Hyrax 1.0 inch or 124. So, first line is no problem. It takes the second line, which is closer to that rock. So it's not as bouncy, but it is at the limit of center gravity. So Hyrax failed and stock tire failed. Right here on the right, very steep. This is impressive because that's steep and it requires a little bit of articulation. The stock tire did not climb up this one, so it's gone from our split screen and right here this is kind of the revelation now the mini crawler can be a rock crawler <laughs> and this has been what has been preventing me from playing with this a lot other than indoor is it just didn't have the rubber you know if you don't have the tires it's not as much fun to go on the steep stuff technical stuff and modify the car because the limiting factor is the tires and you can't do much about that until a manufacturer, a legitimate manufacturer comes up with something. So great that Proline's in the game. Look at that. That car is just just dancing, you know, just playing with playing with the rocks. It fails, but it's fine. Right here. It's gonna do a little bit of side hill. Not side hill, but a little angle climb. Hyrax has no problem. Stock tires were able to do it too. A little bit, a little bit more bounce, but let's not take anything away. It was able, it was able to do it since it's some grippy material. Descending. Hyrax definitely descends well, but this body is. It's an SUV, so it really hurts it in descending because the the rear cabin, rear edges, high edges, drag it down. Okay, different line here. Stock tire was not able to do this little slippery rock. So not only do we have grip, but we also have the tire conforming to the rock keeping it composed less of that bounce so we're really able to take advantage of our new motor you know we don't have great damping shocks on this one but the motor keeps it composed keeps it from, from jerking around at critical moments so here we're trying to pop it. Oh, and it succeeded, but luck of the draw or maybe driver error. All right, here's a little notch. Okay, really notice how 
the higher axe 124 it just went through no bounce stock tire is able to do it because it's because it's a wedge but kind of bouncy and right here the higher axe is doing something really fancy it's going through a notch in the in the rocks and as you ride those rocks it puts up your nose up causing you to almost flip over backwards notice how bouncy the stock tire again is even though the motor is very composed this is the nature of a hard sidewall right here the Avery wall we call it Hyrax does it but it does it it's with such class the stock tire was able to do it here as well descending super composed so something really interesting with this Hyrax 24 is what would happen if we vent the tires so these tires are unvented so a little bit of tire pressure builds up so venting would allow it to conform what would happen if we used aluminum bead blocks with some brass rings put some weight down what would happen if we took the body off or used a much lighter body so now 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 that the tires are not the gating iron so much so many more possibilities Right there, you, know, you can see that flip is caused by the body. It's just, it's just too heavy. So here, the high rock, the axle was not able to do it. The axle tire. So we'll just check out the high rocks. Make a right, composed. So this is true rock crawling on a 124th mini crawler. Love it. So these tires will work as well on the 118 scale maybe 116 scale so it's going to open up a lot of possibilities right there super composed didn't even have to throttle just did it and finally to close it off test number six we are going to do some dirt Obviously, it does well in rock. Let's see how it does in dirt. And you know the the, the Hyrax design. It's like it's like a bunch of feathers. The uh, the knobs are so it really works well in this very small tire. You know, little knobs. Seems like there's not enough room for siping. Uh, but the feathers are kind of kind of natural siping, meaning giving more surface area. In a given space, a little side hill here. Check it out. So, Hyrax, mini Hyrax is representing as well. Little rock. So, not only did the Hyrax meet our expectations, but kind of opening up a new avenue for us with these mini crawlers. Can't wait. Bring on the the other mods, low CG and whatnot. Thank you. So what do you guys think? Pretty impressive, huh? So cool. So everything I expected is in this tire. It runs like a Hyrax, meaning it it can. Now we have a rock crawler uh, instead of instead of just a tabletop toy. Uh, we can really. I'm now inspired to upgrade the rest of this this system, especially now that I have a new, um, very cool motor. Maybe uh, change the body, put some weights, because as you can see, the tires are so good that the limit now is the center of gravity. You know, the lines it can it still has grip, but it just keeps slipping over. So I'll run it without the body. I'll run it with metal bead locks with with brass. See what happens, and. Uh, now we can really crawl i'm pumped and hopefully i'll open the open the door for the, the rest of the competition uh to come in and and um uh, offer really grippy tires in this mini crawler 124 scale market thanks a ton